you kidding me? What you, this what is what you call a thing? latte? <laughs> this has gelato in it. <laughs> You're gelato. Uh, That's what I thought. And oh, hello. Welcome to Carrie. So we're talking about Man on Movie. I'm sorry. This is Man on Movie. Tonight's episode, we're talking about Carrie, the reimagining of the Stephen King horror classic film. I'm going to start off by saying... Hi, I'm Moog Hescock, and I'm a woman. I'm Ben Bannock, I'm co-host. Welcome man to the show. Movie, but I'm a girl, I'm not a man. It's man on Movie is the name of our show, and it's good to have you. We watched this movie at the Davis Theater, and I want to say that Carrie, like most remakes, needed to be remade. As much Sissy's as... Sissy Spacek phoned it in. We all know it. And now Sissy Spacek is an old woman, whereas the character in this movie is a young woman. So if Sissy Spacek would have been in this remake, it wouldn't have made sense for her to play a teenage girl. They made a terrible choice of casting Sissy Spacek in this version of Carrie as an old woman playing a teenage girl. I don't agree with that choice. No, but they didn't. Uh, they didn't have Sissy Spacek. They had a regular teenage girl. I watched the movie. I know what I saw. I will say that there were a lot of teenager people that were supposed to be teenagers in the film that were clearly in their 30s. And sometimes 50s. Mm -hmm. I want to say that I look younger than most of the men at the prom in this movie. And, and you're in your 40s. And I'm in my early 40s. And I drink and I smoke. I'd like to complain about the gratuitous uh, teenage sexiness in this film, which I assume uh, was a director's choice. Uh, and the original Carrie featured wholesome scenes. None of this underwear, locker room stuff. There were a lot of dirty pillows showing. And I'll tell you what, there was some period blood, and as a man, I just don't agree with it. When Carrie got real mad, I guess she wanted to mess stuff up. So that happened. Bitch was ragging. Bitch, uh, bitches, when they're on the rag, they have emotions and they feel things. And you wouldn't know about those things because you haven't... E I E D, which makes her not. Moog can't menstruate because she has an I E D in her vagina. Not okay. It's really personal information. So, why did you tell me? Did I just tell you? No. Do our tens of fans want to hear about that? No. Carrie, um, I give it one thumb down, one thumb up, because it's a classic, but it's poop. I'm actually going to mirror that. Ooh. Are you Pretty good job. trying to mirror. get back in my good graces? This is it. No, I about actually... about the weapons of mass destruction in my vagina? On a serious note of not being just angry all the time, I want to say that people shouldn't mess with other people... Because then when they get angry, then, like most... Sometimes you want to eat baby carrots in a movie theater. And then you say to the person next to you who's eating baby carrots, you say, if you take a motherfucking another super crunchy bite of that, I'm going to tell on your ass so fast your ass will spin. And then you take one more crunchy bite, and what are you going to do about it, punk? Nothing. That's what I thought. And then I didn't do anything. But I hope... Watching this movie like called Carrie, everyone will learn to stop fucking with me all the time. Sometimes you go to the bathroom and you miss almond time. Yeah, sometimes people have a handful of almonds, and some people don't get that, because they're in the bathroom. Sometimes people gotta make yellow during the middle of a theater movie, and doesn't make me less of a person, doesn't make me not deserve almonds. The main actress of Carrie, I think she, it was Ellen DeGeneres, she, uh... It was a very self-indulgent uh, portrayal. Uh, her acting was weak and self-loathing. She's no Sister Spacek, and I'll tell you why. Tell me why. The, all the things that you just said. You, you're just trying to make me like you again? Nope, I just happen to be mirroring your sentiments tonight. And sometimes that's what a good co-host does, is they just... Is this your toothbrush? Listen and agree. Yes, it is. I'm gonna put it somewhere bad. Don't accidentally hit your improvised explosive device. Oh, God, that's gross. Oh, don't do it.
Guess who won that battle? Everyone loses. I want to say that this movie, they did a good job with the scene where she loses her shit and goes crazy at the end. Only because of CGI. The original, they did that with real shit. They made it happen authentic style. This was just like, oh, CGI, I'm just gonna... <laughs> CG... Oh, doop, 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 doop. Perfect. Not impressed. Thank you. This has been a great edition of Man on Movie. Thanks a lot, everybody, and we'll see you at the beach. I'm gonna use your floss and put it back in the floss container. Where are you going to use we're it? We're not teeth? going to the beach. We're going to go to the movies. Thanks. Push the button. Right. Push it. Man on movie. Okay. I'm a woman. Good night.